Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in CSS and today we're going to be discussing the difference between parent and child tags how you can refer to a certain child tag if it's within a specific parent tag and classes so let's get started so the best way I can define parent tags for, for the best example it, um, is the fact that we have these HTML tags right and we have both the header tags and the body tags within the HTML tag so we can say the HTML tag is the parent to both the body tags and the header tags. Um, alternatively, we can also say the header tags and the body tags are child tags to the HTML tag. Likewise, we can say the meta, title, link, and any other tags that we have in the header tag are the children to the header tag, while the header tag is the parent to these. And then we can say these tags, the meta, title, link, and any others, are the grandchildren to the HTML tag. And it can just keep going on and on and on like a family tree. It, it is a tree if you think about it. So I'm going to create two paragraphs. And I don't know, I'm going to put toast in one and butter in the other. So what we would, uh, ha what we have done before is we have learned IDs, but what we've done in the past is we would just refer to the P tags, and let's say we wanted the, I don't know, font style to be italic. Let's see how that turns out. So there they both are, both text, the toast and the butter, and they're both italicized. But what if we want something to apply to a certain tag, not not just P tags, it could be any tag, but it has to be embedded within other tags before um, these styles take place. So for an example, what if I put center tags around the butter, I'll click save, and now it's centered. Well, what if I only want what if I want, want to make this text bold, but I only want the paragraphs that have center tags around them to become bold? So what you can do is, bef uh, before the P, type in whatever tag comes in first, in this case it's center, and put a greater than sign. So it's saying center followed by P, will all the text in there become italicized. So I click save, and now when I press F5, only this remains italicized, but this went back to normal. And bear in mind, you can keep doing this again and again, and keep in embedding tags within each other. Um, obviously, there would be no change if I threw body in the front, so I could just type in body, body within the center in paragraph, and it should just be the same. Yep, I'm reloading the page, it's the same. And um, yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, I haven't really ever used this, but it's something you can do in case you wanted to know. Now, um, classes, and don't get this confused with object-based or object-oriented programming. This is not uh, a programming language at all. This is just a markup language. But classes kind of work like IDs, but at the same time they don't. They have a they have well they have something a feature about them that separates them from IDs and can actually make them more useful. So first of all, I'm I'm going to make this I'm going to make the toast h an h1 tag. Then I'll make this an h1. And then I'll put down for uh, I won't mess with that yet. I'll press F5 and there it is. So, you can create what's called a class attribute and it already has an ID. You can use IDs if you want, but then you wouldn't be able to follow this. But it, it works exactly the same. You just type in class just like you did with IDs, and you can put in whatever you want. So I'll put in edible. And then for the P tags, I'll give it the same class and call it edible as well. Because let's face it, toast and butter, they're both edible. In fact, one goes on the other. Yummy. So then, I'll get rid of all this and just put down for classes instead of putting down a pound sign 
you'll put down a dot or a period and then put down the name so I put down edible then when I click save and press F5 now the text is italicized now the difference with classes is well why is it a dot I mean why would you start with a period that looks weird usually periods separate things well, what you can do is before that dot you can put which type of tags you want it to apply to and this is something you can't really do with IDs um, so for an example maybe I only want the plain text like look at the H1 it's already bold why does it need to be italicized maybe I just want the regular text to be italicized so what I can do is put a P in front of this dot like that and then when I press F5 now only the regular text is italicized and that's really the big difference with classes that you can specify which tags of that class name will have that effect and wow this was a really short video oh my gosh I should have I should have thought about doing more um, that that's about it for parent tags class tags how you refer to them and classes uh, we will be you will be using this a lot if you're gonna be a web developer uh, but it really is the best thing to learn to do because classes and IDs are your best friend. So uh, I, I'll see you in the next video, and I believe the next one might be the last one, and you will, should be a master of CSS. So I'll see you then.